So here is a keep mango, pretty typical. These trees in this orchard are approaching four years old. And um, so they're right in, they're getting ready to be in this prime producing time. So this is a keep mango. Keep mangoes are uh, vigorous growing and they wanna grow upright and they're really lanky. They have long, uh, I don't know what you would call them. They're shoots. When they when they come out, they're really long, and they don't always want to throw out that whirl of shoots, which is what you want in order to create that thick canopy. So if you don't maintain the pruning really good, or through once it's going through its uh, fruiting area, flowering stages, and it flushes a couple times, it starts to get really lanky. And what will happen is once you get fruit on them, all the branches will bend all the way down near near the ground and it'll just uh, be easier for the branches to break. So in pruning this tree, I'm gonna have to come in and really uh, take it off the top because it is really approaching 10 feet at this point and I would like to get it down to, uh, you know, seven, eight feet at least for this year. Now, there's two ways you can approach uh, pruning in the ultra high density orchard. You can either remove one third of the tree at a time. And so if we're looking at, not removed, but uh, really prune heavy one third of the tree. So on this tree right here, what we have is three scaffold branches. So every year I come in here, I'm going to remove or I'm going to really lower one of these scaffold branches. You see that we have the three scaffold branches here. So every year I'll come in and I'll remove the most vigorous upright growing scaffold branch and I'll bring that back down to five feet. And the other two branches, I'll just tip and lower most this pruning green wood. And I'll lower that one down to seven or eight feet. And I expect that the remaining two thirds of the tree will still be, will still flower next year. And the one branch, the one scaffold branch that I cut down back down to five feet, I expect that there won't be any flowers on that side of the tree. So if you do that with all of the trees, you remove one third of the canopy or we lower one third of the canopy heavily, then you lose one third of the production on your orchard but that's the only way you're going to be able to maintain the size of the trees unless you go in and you remove heavily and then you go, you'll lose production of the whole tree for the year instead of just one third so that's one way to look at pruning is removing one third of the canopy at a time and then you have a three-year canopy replacement system and the other way would be for a larger acreage of high density orchards would be to remove one third of the rows of the orchard so in this case i have 10 rows so every year i would just completely take down the entire row to five feet and the remainder of the trees would be just uh, pruned green wood and tipped and one and then three rows out of this orchard would be completely removed the canopy would be completely removed taken down to five feet and allowed to regrow and in this case you're still going to lose one third of the orchard but you're going to lose the whole row instead of one third of the three tree you lose one third production on the whole orchard so that's the two ways either remove one third of each tree or remove one third of the rows in the entire field and that's how you would do it if you had mechanical pruning or if you had a tractor pruner you wouldn't be able to go in and just remove one third of a, of the canopy so you would just go and cut prune the entire row one third of the field and in theory you should get the same production. So 
a lot of these trees are still at good height, which is at uh, six feet, five feet, seven feet. So mostly green wood and tipping. The trees that are above eight feet, between the eight and 10 feet, which are mostly keat mangoes and a couple Hayden mangoes, which are also pretty vigorous growing tree like this one here. Those will be taken down. Absolutely one. Uh, I'm, I'll, I'll be doing the one third uh, of the canopy removal. So, because hand pruning, with hand pruning, you have the ability to just remove one third of the canopy instead of just having to chop the whole row down. So, that is what I'll be doing with the pruning of the ultra high density field. Do a few scraggler proposals and uh, keep mangoes, which are pretty late season. This tree, in fact, the lower branches flowered, so I'll probably just remove the top part to maintain size. Ooh, got a nice ripe proposal up there. So that's what we'll be doing in the next couple weeks for the post-harvest pruning.